Hello guys, you all are welcome to this channel once again. My name is Charles Chinoso and I'm glad to have you here. And on this channel, I talk about ways you can make money online and things you can do to get better results in your internet marketing activities. So in today's section, I'll be teaching you guys how you can automate your WhatsApp. As a business person, responding to people can be quite stressful. Imagine you having to respond to people every now and then. Especially if you have to answer the same question all over and all over again. This can slow down your production with every other activities and even slow down your business growth. So that is why it is important to learn how to automate your WhatsApp using a tested and working automation tool I use. And I'll be revealing that tool to you today. But before I do that, if you are new to this channel, do well to go and hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends. Come on, like you should do that. Why won't you share it to your friends? Do you want your friends to always be online responding to people every now and then before they can make sales and money? With automation, make their life easy for them. So what is automation, guys? So automation is the process of using an AI-driven technology to automate your entire conversation on WhatsApp, your entire engagement and messaging on WhatsApp. Automating your WhatsApp is very useful if you wish to be able to attend to customers and make sales even when you are offline. It gives you the opportunity to like set up your message to answer customers' queries while building relationship and bond with your customers. So if you are looking to build a brand engagement, if you are looking to build effective conversation, save time and cost, or even scale your business, it is important that you automate your WhatsApp. So let me show you how you can automate your WhatsApp and set yourself up for a stressless online presence. So we'll be going to Play Store to install an app called Autoresponder for WhatsApp. So over here, let's search for the app here. Autoresponder for WhatsApp. So you click on, I guess you can see what I'm searching, guys. So I just search for that. Uh, let me show you guys the exact app you have to install. So all this app, most of them don't usually work perfectly. So this is the app. Autoresponder for WhatsApp. Can you see it here? So you click on it and install it. That is the exact app I'm using and it's working for me. So I have to uninstall it before this presentation so that I can do everything from the scratch and show you guys that it is truly working. So once you've installed this app, next thing is for you to open it. Okay, you have to open the app. Let's wait for it to install. It has finished downloading. So once you are here, click on get started. You click on get started. So you can see they said, uh, seven day start your seven day free trial you don't want that for you to do is just go back because you want to use the free version so over here we are on the dashboard can you see that now so for you to use this app it is very very simple it is very very simple so what you do is you click on the plus sign you click on the plus sign to add your command to add any message you wish people to send to you when they come to your whatsapp dm so i just click on the plus sign now so you can see what we have here. The first thing we have here is receive message. So over here, you have to put in the message you wish to receive from your prospect. So the idea behind this is for you to have a link whereby if people click that link from your traffic source, they land your WhatsApp DM and they automatically see a message they will be sending on the link. Do you understand? So if you check previous video on my channel, I already made a video on how you can create such kind of link whereby there's already a message on the link that people will send automatically to you. So over here, you have to put in such kind of message. Do you understand? You have to put in the message you're expecting to receive from your prospects. So let's assume I want to type something like, Hi Charles. Hope you guys are following what I'm doing. I uh, would like to know more about your business. More about your business my name is so this let's assume this is what i have on my link you can see hi charles i'd like to know more about your business my name is so the person get to put his or her name over here do you understand so let me click on done so that i see what we just type so i just clicked on done can you see it here hi charles I would like to know more about your business. My name is. So you can see the next thing we have here is exact and similarity match. So I always advise you set it to similarity match because uh, if you choose exact match, it means your autoresponder will not pick up if people add any other words to this text. 
For example, if the person should add name to this text or this message, your autoresponder will not recognize such message. So it is important you set it to similarity match. So let's set similarity match. So then over here, you have to type the message you want to send back to them. So let's type our message. So hello. You are welcome here. Can you see? So you can see something like reply one to learn more more about the business reply to to make payments can you see guys so let's assume where they are coming from they already got a little info about your product do you understand maybe you run a conversion ad do you know what's a conversion ad a conversion ad is a kind of ad whereby your intention is to make sales instantly so let's, let's assume you run a conversion ad on facebook and they already saw everything they need to know about the product so that means you can write something like this as your response message so reply to, to make payments that means whoever replied to is ready to make payments instantly why those that reply one still want to know more about the business do you understand so but then if you are running just a uh, elite generation ad it is important to just stick to uh, reply one to learn more about the business okay don't ask people to make payments because they don't trust you yet so let's click on done can you see hello you are welcome here yeah? reply one to learn more about this business and reply to to make payments so we are done with this command and let's move down to see more features receiver you have to click you have to pick individual if you choose both it means whoever sends such message in a group your autoresponder will reply to them instantly so you don't want to do such you want to leave it as individual that means only reply to individual messages do you understand so there's nothing else to set here can you see that is the last thing and for here you can choose to pause your message if you want the message to always reply instantly just leave it the way it is but if you want it to have some time limit like maybe 10 seconds before it replies then you get to set how many seconds there hope you understand what i'm saying so let's this is all we have to do here so you click on this check this uh, mark icon so it means we've set up our first rule can you see it here we've set up our first rule so you can go ahead and set more rules if you wish to uh do more with your autoresponder for example maybe after they said they want to learn more you could actually send a message to them and ask them to reply done once they are done reading the message something like that so in a situation whereby they reply done so let's assume they reply done over here so then you also add uh, a reply message to your autoresponder so thanks for watching the short video do you have questions do you have any questions so you can see this is another rule we just set here and the same principle applies to this one set it to individual and that is all so click on the mark icon so let's go ahead and test it to see if it's working so before you test it click on this to on it you can see where we have the on and off icon over here can you see so click on that to on your autoresponder so that it will work perfectly so i just clicked on it so they said i should grant it permission so let me go ahead and grant it permission over here so click on on here allow click on allow then you go back to your autoresponder guess you can see so we've already successfully on that so let's test it and see if it's working for you to test it click on this test icon that has 
eye on it you get so once you click on that also let me let me highlight it for you guys so you see so this is what i'm talking about can you see that so once you click on that it will bring out where you can test your rule so let's the first what was the first true we typed let me go and copy the first true i'm coming guys so that will be sure let me not make mistake so select all to copy select all to copy so let me go back to the place we are testing our messages so you come over here and you paste what you just copied so i just pasted it here so click on done and send so let's see if this will reply can you see so let's click on done to see if the second one will come up done so you click on send can you see so so let's go ahead and do a live test so let's go and test it on whatsapp to see if it's working so this is my whatsapp number let me type the message here and see if it will pick up again so that i can see that it is truly working so i just click on this let's send it to my mtn let's see can you see hello you are welcome here reply one to learn the reason why it's responding this fast is because we do not add any delay in seconds actually i recommend you do that delay it in some seconds so that they don't feel you are using a robot to chat with them then it will take about 10 seconds to reply to their messages so i'm sure you got value from this video so we come to the end of this section so go ahead and automate your whatsapp and live a stressless life as an online business person bye